Thousands of Cape gannets tracked the sardines. They nested off the Cape and timed their breeding so that their newly fledged chicks can join them in pursuing the shoals. Below water, hundreds of sharks have also joined the caravan. These are bronze whaler sharks, a cold water species that normally lives much further south. These three meter sharks cut such great swathes through the sardine shoals that their tracks are clearly visible from the air. Carried by packs of predators and swept in by the action of the waves, the sardine shoals are penned close to the shore. Common dolphin are coming in from the open ocean to join the feast. There are over a thousand of them in this one school. When they catch up with the sardines, the action really begins. Working together, they drive the shoal towards the surface. It's easier for the dolphins to snatch fish up here. the sardines have no escape. Thanks to the dolphins, the sardines have come within the diving range of the gannets. Hundreds of white arrows shoot into the sea, leaving long trails of bubbles behind each dive. Next to join the frenzy are the sharks. Sharks get very excited when dolphins are around. That may be because they can feed particularly well once the dolphins have driven the sardines into more compact groups near the surface. As the frenzy continues, walls of bubbles drift upwards. They're being released by the dolphins, working together in teams. They use the bubbles to corral the sardines into ever tighter groups. The sardines seldom cross the wall of bubbles and crowd closer together. Bubble netting in this way enables the dolphins to grab every last trapped sardine. Just when the feasting seems to be almost over, a brooder's wail. The survivors head on northwards and the caravan of predators follows them. <laughs> <laughs> 